You said you spent your childhood, most of your childhood, eating cabbage. That's very common. Well, you know, like, kids always have to eat vegetables. It's healthy, right? And, right. Uh, it's true. A lot of our um, dishes are based on cabbage and other vegetables. And Do they have uh, tricks but, to get you to eat? Like, because exactly, I know with our kids, I'm always, we're always saying if you eat that, you'll get really strong. What do they say to you to get voila. you to eat cabbage? Exactly. So basically, for us, it was, well, for girls especially, uh, they say that if you eat cabbage, you, you know, you, you grow. Uh, <laughs> you grow hands. You, you, become, you, you get very talented. Oh, I see. You, you become, uh, your, your breasts will grow large. Voila. Let's just say, let's, let's say what just, it is. Yeah, yeah. Right? Trust me. We just very had a guest out here talking about, you know, eating mushrooms. You get very pound, attractive. So, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. They would literally tell women that? That's yeah, the little girls. And so, of course, every girl. He wants it. Well, I, I, I hope. I don't know. Well, yeah. I wanted it. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and I kept eating and eating cabbage. I still keep eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure it's working very well. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep eating it until I die. Exactly, yeah. That's what you know, they told me when I was a kid. Hope dies the last. <laughs> yeah. They told me when I was a boy, eat that cabbage and you'll grow breasts. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. Um, <laughs> you play uh, in Vampire Academy, you play a very sexy headmistress. And this is a role that they, uh, initially the role called for sort of uh, an old, you know, like an, uh, an old sort of witch-like woman, and they went a completely different way and cast Yeah, because you. in the book, so of course it's based on um, the books that uh, Richelle Mead wrote, mm -hmm. and uh, in the books, uh, the headmistress is described as this horrible, old, um, very dry, tall lady um, with a big nose and gray right. hair, and... Uh, and uh, I thought, oh, perfect, great casting. Uh, so, <laughs> so, and but the, I guess yeah, they decided when I got there, they started trying on all these sexy clothes, and and uh, I think I'm the only character who they modified from from the book. So I think it they was, went for the sexy option. I think it was a wise choice on their part. We have uh, actually a still here of you in your uh, in your head. Oh yeah, I remember that moment. This is yes, this is. I was I was biting this poor guy. It was an extra. It was this young boy who got there. He was lying on the table. Yeah, poor, he poor boy. Terrified. Poor guy. Yeah. And, Poor guy. And I was supposed, and I was crawling over him on my fours, and I was, and he was looking at me, and I said, "Don't worry, I'm not gonna bite you for real." And he was just, uh huh. And I don't, you know, and I, I didn't bite. Hey, yeah. Him, but I'm I gonna didn't. feel bad for I that wonder. guy for a long. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I ended up like not really biting him because I wasn't going to, it, it was more like kissing his neck. So I thought, what is he thinking? I wonder what he's thinking while I'm doing all this. I'll tell you later what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get a job? How do you get a job like that? It's amazing, right? I never, I was always like stock boy, maybe you know? You can, maybe you can apply for, you know, to be an extra. Yes, those... I would do that in a second. You'd have to put in a good word for me. Absolutely. That meant no. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> you looked away and Dana went, absolutely. Oh. Uh, we have a clip here from Vampire Academy. Anything we need to know for this? Um, the clip? Yeah, just um, enjoy. Well, yeah, enjoy. And um, uh, Headmistress Kuro is, uh, is a very mean lady. She hates kids. Hates kids. She, just, she can't stand them. Uh, I, sh I think she'd like to torture them. And, um, and voila. And, um, Let's take a look at this uh, clip from Vampire Academy. <laughs> You, Hathaway, a dumper girl cut off from the community out on civilian streets without a dime? Huh? Blood whore is such an ugly term, but I'm sure Maroi men on business trips would pay a lot for the especially sweet taste. Had Mr. Skirwa. They have the bond. That's... that's impossible. In my brief observation period, Rose could tell what Lisa was thinking or feeling. Sometimes without being in the same place. What a rare and wonderful gift. This doesn't take away from the fact that Rose Hathaway is wild, dangerous. Insubordinate and vulgar. Right here, folks. Right here. I still want to go to that school. Did you see those teeth? Yeah. 